Hi, I'm Carl Taylor, photographer and instructor. Hello, I'm Urs Recho, photographer and consultant at Brown Color. And uh, we got another great how-to video. Yes, what are you, what do you have in mind, Carl? Well, it's a little bit complicated, this one, I'm afraid. Really? Uh, we have a uh, softball stroke baseball player here in uh, uniform. Uh, this is Kurt. And he's going to do a swing. Just show us a swing, please, Kurt. He's going to do a swing through like a full swing, and what I want to do is try and capture it in four or five exposures in one shot. So it's quite tricky because we need to use the uh, very fast speed of the Scoro, freezing it, because you can see how fast that yeah. movement is, but we're also going to use the interval and the delay modes on the Scoro packs so that we can have them fire flashes sequentially, one after other, certain spaced intervals. Okay, so we have a delay, we have sequences, and we have intervals. Yes, and, uh, and we have three Scoro packs here, which is again making it a little bit more complicated. If we look at the lighting setup, what I'm going for is a, a, an edge light, a rim light around the player here and here, and then we've put a softbox over the top to just add a little bit of light on the helmet, and then we have a softbox on this side. But we're going to use the rim lighting just for the main part of the swing. And then the last flash will be the softbox only. Uh, oh, sorry, not the softbox only, but the softbox will be added on the last flash. So for the first flashes, it will just be the rim lighting, which is this light here, this light here, and this light here. We've done away with this one because it was too much exposure on the trousers. But for the final exposure of the series of the intervals, this light will come okay. on as well. But how can you tell this light to fire exactly with the last flash of the other three lights? Um, well, it's just to do with the uh, delay time. So basically, we have set this to take a series of four flashes with a tenth of a second interval. Okay. So we know that those four flashes combined with a tenth of a second interval, we know that that takes us to 0 0.30, because the first flash is at zero, then 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, oh, right. okay. and we set that flash to fire on 0.3, so oh, a right. delay time of yeah. 0.3. So four flashes means three intervals, and then three times the interval is the delay for the last one. Exactly, right. yes. Yeah. And it. if we have a look on the uh, menu system, we can see how we program that into the, uh, into the score. So you can see on the Scoro, we've already set in the 10,000th of a second flash duration so that we can get that ultra fast um, flash burst. And then if we go into the menu system, we see we've got sequence set to four. And then if we move down from sequence to interval, we can see that we've got interval set to 0 0.1. So we are going to have four flashes, one starting at zero, then at point 0.1, point 0.2, and point 0.3, and that Scoro pack there is set to fire the delay on point okay. 0.3. And we also have two Scoro packs working together at the same uh, set of sequences, firing four flashes with the point 0.1 interval, and the third Scoro pack just firing one Once flash with the, on last. The, with the last one on the delay. Okay. They'll all combine together to give us the correct exposure for the rim lighting and the final exposure on the body. Okay. So it, it is quite complex. We've had to set up a lot of black, put him on black surfaces, put black flags in everywhere um, just to control the exposure on black because as you know, mm. We can't do this on white because it's just lots of overexposure. So just the correct amount of light to build up the exposure on black. And then one trick which you taught me was moving the camera at the All same right. time during the exposure. Okay. Because one of the, one of the problems, if you just do your swing again, please step back. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we don't want any uh, accidents. If we see the swing here, you see the body is in pretty much the same position for most of the swing. So, okay, the arms and everything move through the shot, but the center part of the body is yeah. in the same position. And what you taught me, which was a great one, was that if we move the camera during the exposure, then effectively we're moving the body during the exposure. Exactly. And then we can separate with each of these Otherwise flashes. it's all at the same position. At the same it's point, the... too much buildup of light yeah, in yeah. one place, overexposure in one place. Whereas the movement of the camera during the flow of the shot keeps them separated. Okay and it'll make for a more interesting and a better, better exposure on the shot. Sounds good. Let's try it. Let's try it. Good. 
Kurt. You ready? Three, two, one, go. So removing this is going to be a piece of cake and then once I've just got that all removed and taken out, then he'll be on pure black. So I've also got to take a little bit off the floor as well. Just adjust the contrast levels a little bit, um, just to clean that up. But a pretty good result there, capturing that in, uh, in one shot. Right. Very happy with that. Um, if you'd like to see more how-to videos, then uh, follow these guys, Broncolor, on their Facebook page, like them on their Facebook page, stay up to date with uh, our how-to videos and the other stuff that Oz uh, gets up to with some of your, uh, your other how-to stuff. Exactly, and yeah. not only the videos, we have a lot of uh, as well just uh, examples, photographs uh, explained with a lighting diagram, explained with a little text, all technical data, and uh, we try to come out with one of these new how-tos every 10 yep. to 14 days. Yeah, absolutely. So, thanks very much for watching, we hope you enjoyed that one. Thank you very much, bye-bye.